Y como veníamos diciéndole en el principio del programa, aquí estamos ya charlando con Britney Spears, así que welcome to Connection. Thank you. How Thank are you doing? I'm good. How are you? How's the tour doing so far? Good so far. I've been on the road for like four or five weeks now. It's been, it's been a lot of fun. Lot of yeah, fun. you're working a lot. Yeah. You you get a little bit tired? Okay. Um, sometimes I'm used to it now. As long as I get my rest at night and mm -hmm. I don't have to get up too early, I'm I'm okay. You go out at night that much? Oh, <laughs> no? I do. Some, you know what? When I go out, I'm full out. Like, I really, really go out and I stay out till like 8 in the morning. But I don't do it often. Like, every, once every month I do that. You have to just to get that release out, you know, because you do interviews and press all day. It's really nice to just go out with your friends and just not worry about anything yeah. every once in a while. You know, uh, we told our audience, um, like 20 Latin American countries, that, uh, that you were going to be in the show. So they wrote hundreds and thousands of emails, you know, asking if you're going to go to Latin America soon and if you have plans. I'm a world there. tour, yeah. Yeah, when is it going to be? Um, I start the world tour in like two months. Oh, so excellent. I'm so excited because I haven't, I mean, I've gone overseas mm -hmm. before, but I haven't done my show over there, so I'm really curious to see what the audiences are like there. And Latin America, do you know which countries are you going to be visiting? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> no idea. <laughs> okay, so, you know, you, you have a great year since you came out with this, you know, this album, mm -hmm. and, you know, how, how will this success uh, change your goals today? Well, really, my goals have mm -hmm. stayed the same. I mean, my main goal is just to get mu like good music out there and just mm -hmm. to touch as many people as I can with my music. But um, I want to have a number of number one albums and be around for a while like Madonna. That's my main goal. You're in love with him because I saw you dancing. I just think she's so cool because she's reinvented herself every time she's came out. and. Um, when she's performing, she has the audience in the palm of her hand and she always has the people wondering what she's going to do next. Mm -hmm. I think she's a very smart businesswoman and I really respect that. So. How do you, I mean, have you ever seen her life? Like? No, I haven't. I have all of her tapes, though, <laughs> of all of her shows. So. And, and can, can, can we say that, you know, I mean, that she influenced your, your, your career and she was... Oh, definitely. Her... People um, that made you do this, what you're doing. I really looked up to Madonna. I'm um, Whitney Houston. And vocally, because she has the most amazing voice. When she sings, it comes from her soul, and you can totally hear that. Um, Whitney Houston, um, Michael Jackson, I love Michael Jackson, and Janet Jackson as well. I, uh, I read somewhere that you're writing, is it true that you're writing a book for your life? Um, really, it's not about my life, it's about the relationship with me and my mom. It's called Heart to Heart. Okay. And um, it's just talking about things I think that fans don't know about me yet. And just like real interesting little things like that. Actually, I saw the cover of the book today. They were wanting me to approve it. I was like, it was cute. What so. is it? How is it the cover? Is it's just a picture of me laughing. It's just a real picture. Uh -huh. So it's not really posed or anything. So. And what are some of the things that you want to tell, you know, uh, your audience in that book? You know, it's kind of weird because... Well, you know, they see me in all these award shows and mm -hmm. all these interviews and stuff, but it's just talking about how I want to be normal just like them, you know, but I just don't live a normal life. And it talks about all the, you know, things, how I was brought up and how close me and my mom are. Just, like, little things like that Wouldn't that I think they would be interested in. Announcing you were going to be on the show, so there, was, there was a lot of questions. The main question was if you were going to go to Latin America, your answer. And then we have Maria Isabel from Argentina. She said, Brittany, we love you. Um, who are the top three hottest guys today for you? Oh, oh, I like this question. I can talk um, about guys now. Guys that I think are hot. Three, let me see. There's so many hot guys out right now. Yeah, I, I cannot imagine. choose three. <laughs> well, no, but three that, I mean, they have to be famous, I think, because so everybody knows okay. what we're talking about. We're um, going to say that these guys, you know, behind here, the camera. <laughs> probably. Over I, there with someone. <laughs> Um, I think Brad Pitt's really cute. I think he's Is like, him? yeah, he's amazing. He's just, I like how he's so chiseled and rugged looking. He's mm -hmm. very sexy. Um, who else do I think is cute? I think Ben Affleck is really cute. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's a cute. Yeah. And, um, Have you ever met him? Met them? Um, I've met Ben Affleck, but I haven't met Brad Pitt before. Oh, I would die if I met him. I'd be so nervous. I would be a total goof. <laughs> but you could do that. I mean, you can... Uh, uh, no, when I meet someone that I think is really cute or I'm attracted to, I don't know what to say. I get a brain fart and I get so nervous and shy. I'm just like, ah, I don't know what to say. 
But, um, and I think Justin Timberlake is really cute. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Think. yeah He's a cutie. Nice. So, but, you know, uh, talking about, now we were talking about, this, you know, these guys and you were talking about actors. Uh, is it true that if you have like 20 movie scripts waiting, scripts waiting for you? <laughs> I read it somewhere and said, oh my God. You want to have time to read them? I don't know about 20. Um, no, the t- schedule for this whole year is booked, mm-hmm. but I'll, I think next year um, there's talk of me doing a film. Probably, I think it's called Grease 3. Oh, we, yeah? We may do that, yeah. Oh. It'll be really fun. Oh. So, but there's other, you know, scripts coming in, but that's the one that really interests me, that really sparks, you know, I really want to do that. Okay, we have another question. Alberto de Guadalajara. He said, fame has its price. What do you wish would not have changed since all your success. Something I wish had that hasn't changed. Yeah. What do you, yeah. Well, you know what? I think that um, by becoming a celebrity, it's just one of the things that goes with it, not being able to be normal anymore and do normal things all the time. Like, you know, just going to the movies or, you know, doing normal things like that and just, um, I don't know, just normal things like that. And you can't really do that because you're a celebrity and people notice you mm-hmm. wherever you go. But that's just, like you said, that's one of the yeah, things. You, don't, you, don't you use wigs and things like that? And you yeah, but I, mean, you, I think you have to make sacrifices sometimes for things that but, you really want to do in love. And that's that's one of them. But, it, but it's okay, though, because like when I come here tonight and I perform for all these people and touch them like that, it totally makes up for it. You know? But you like it. I mean, you're not suffering. You're not those kind of artists that really suffer, you know, being famous. No, not at all. <laughs> No, it's, I don't understand uh-huh. why they suffer, uh, they make a drama, you know, that's not, that's not how it like Michael Jackson, that he has his own movie theater and his own park, you know, <laughs> one day. Oh. I love that one thing. And then anyway, we have another, uh, Cecilia de Venezuela, uh, this is another question. He say, show your scar, what happened when you were filming, oops, I did it again. Is it true you had a little accent? Yes. What happened? There was a um, part of the video where it's an overhead shot of me and they were leaning over me like that and the, the camera just fell and hit me in the head. So it's in, it's in my head and I had to get stitches and stuff. <laughs> but it was made a, like a much bigger deal than what it was. Everyone yeah. was like, did you have a concussion? Did you go to run to the, you know, they um, run you to the hospital? I was like, no, none of that happened. Yeah. It was just, I just had stitches and the doctor had to come and get oh, the stitches on the set. The camera yeah. fell in your head. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. Huh? I was like, I started crying. Is that, Is that on video? Well, actually, MTV, they were doing the making of the video. And, and we that. took the tape away from them because we didn't <laughs> want them to play that. Because I no, started crying. I was so That's embarrassed. You have to put it on the internet. You know, you have to put BritneySpears.com. No. You know, hitting her head with the camera. No, so embarrassing. We couldn't do that. Britney, so tell me a little bit about this album. Uh, I'm what it's all really about. excited about this album because I had a lot more involvement mm-hmm. with this one than I did the first one. Um, mm-hmm. I wrote one of the songs on it, it's called Dear Diary, and it's talking about a girl who likes this guy, but she doesn't know how to approach him, so she comes in every night and she writes about it in her journal. Mm-hmm. So it's a really sweet song. And this happens to you, right? When you like a guy, it's hard to approach. Yeah, you know, I'm really shy when I meet someone I like. But if I, it's, it's hard because I'm busy all the time to, you know, and it is cool when I meet someone on the road that, you know, understands what I'm going through and, mm-hmm. you know, and it's nice to just be able to talk to that person at night cause, and everything because they understand mm-hmm. you're on the same page in the mm-hmm. same book, so that's kind of cool. But I, like I said, I get really shy and I don't know to say it's bizarre. <laughs> so, uh, so in this new album, you know, there is, uh, you, you know, you you can you wrote one of the songs. Yes. And how was that? I mean, you came out with a melody, and then you called, you know. The, the well, I producer. I'm like when I'm in the tub or if I'm on the airplane, whenever I'm alone, I always have melodies in my head, and I love to hear you say that you love me. <laughs> I was way too low to that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> that was so low. Okay. <laughs> Got the giggles. <laughs> um, I just came up with it and um, the record label liked it. And I was, they wanted to use it on that. I was like, oh my God, I was really, really excited. I so, you shy um, at the beginning to say, hey, I have, because I mean, you know, this song. It's kind of intimidating working with so many incredible songwriters and producers to come up and be like, do you like this? And you know, I was kind of scared if they'd be like, no, Brittany, that kind of sucks. But they didn't. <laughs> they liked it a lot. <laughs> They thought it was cool. So. so how do you work in general? They bring you the songs and then you incorporate the songs to you? Yeah, like I went to um, Sweden and they had a lot of tracks there for me mm-hmm. and and I, I listened to some of the songs and the ones that I liked. Mm-hmm. That's the ones we went to the studio and it's really important that when I go in the studio I feel the song out because there's sometimes when I hear a song and, I, and I'll go into the studio and I don't really feel it when I'm singing and I'm like, you know what, we can't record this mm-hmm. because I'm just not feeling the song at all. And it's really important to put my personal 
personality into it and my attitude and mm -hmm. make it mine, you know. But that, that's, does it make a difference, you know, being your song, for example, than somebody else's song? Oh, yeah, definitely. Do you, do so you? Every time I hear it now, it's going to be really special. Yeah, do you have plans to grow in that, that direction? Definitely. Oh, God, yes. Yeah, okay. So, um, thank you very much. We hope to see oh, you soon you. in Latin America. Así que gracias a Britney por haber estado con nosotros. Y nos vemos, continuamos aquí en Conexión. Uh, thanks. Oh, thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>